No fair, Gabby. You got your braces off? So, uh, Kayla, you asked what her pet peeve is, and my pet peeve is when people kind of shake their legs. I don't think people actually realize that they're doing it. I think it's just kind of like a natural tendency or something they do subconsciously. Uh, but for me, I find it so irritating, especially when I'm in a classroom and I'm trying to write a test and the person next to me is like shaking their leg like this, like nonstop, really, really fast and just going like this, nonstop. And I have to cover my face like this or like shift my body to the opposite direction so my peripheral vision is blocked so I don't see them. It's really distracting. I would have to say Mountain Dew for the win. You guys started with, like that for the lose thing now with like so so if I like Mountain Dew would that mean that Sprite is for the lose or is ma or is for the win kind of like for the lose. It's just like a synonym. So I say Mountain Dew for the lose slash for the win. Or would Sprite be just because it doesn't win, it's for the lose? I don't know. Okay, so now this is the part where I hold my breath, right? So I'm really, really bad at this, but I'm going to try. Plus, I have really small lung capacity. An excuse? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that kind of sucked. That was like 10 seconds. <laughs> so today, I'm wearing a very, very special t-shirt. I will show it to you. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a smiley face. Oh, wait, wait, you can. Okay, so what's interesting about that t-shirt is that I made it myself. I drew the design, and then like I put it on transparency, and I like screen printed it onto like multiple multiple t-shirts so I made some for my friends and now I have one too Yee! and it's way to be because that's what my friend says my group of friends over there not there because they're not here but like there elsewhere uh. I also promised that I was gonna play an instrument today and I was gonna play with my flute but then I lost my flute I think I might have left it on the bus or something so I don't think I can get that back because it was like public transportation so maybe some crazy person stole it and sold it to like another crazy family. So it's like summer for a lot of you now and not exactly for me because I have like exams and stuff like that. Which I really find pointless. What's the point of having exams? Do they really want to make our life that much harder? I mean we're teenagers. That's why they invented emo people because they're emo because of all the exams. So I'm really like flustered today because I'm feeling a lot more, a lot of energy right now because um, I finished my math exam so I'm like yeah math exam's over but I still got like three more left so it's not really over it's like beginning. Ooh ooh I know what I want to talk about. Hold there. <laughs> okay so the other day I went to a bookstore and I went like crazy and bought a whole bunch of books and I know Adam would be happy about this I don't know if Adam will watch this but Adam if you're watching I bought it I bought an abundance of Catherine's by John Green and he has a very very attractive photo right there wow John Green looking good so if any nerdfighter vlogbrothers fans I bought it, so I'm really excited to read it. I'm not going to read it until after exams, because then it's like kind of like a ward. A reward. And re a reward. Oh. Okay. So.